Um, okay, we are entering into the B2B market. Okay, what do you see the opportunity and uh, what uh, preparations uh, for Carrier to, you know, to win customers? Well, that's a good question. And to answer that question, we really need to understand what are the pain points of the enterprise mm -hmm. and where are they going in their strategies. And okay. I think that if we look uh, very much at how enterprises have started to use cloud service providers today, mm -hmm. that gives us a lot of uh, indications of how the carriers can insert themselves in in that market. So uh, for, for for telecom operators, okay, um, for example, the, the government segment, education segment, or healthcare segments, do you think the carrier should should enter into and also by you know offering their network service together? As I mentioned, uh, you know, before, okay, uh, cloud and service, cloud service and network service collaborations will be the great advantage for carrier to win the vertical customers. I, I absolutely believe that uh, that is the case, and so whether one brings the other doesn't really matter to me. Hmm. But certainly, there is a need from the enterprise perspective to have a local presence mm -hmm. from a cloud service provider, could be a telco, mm -hmm. out of their data center for, uh, for um, services that meet local healthcare regulation or payment card industry regulations, mm -hmm. uh, or even just the, the requirement to keep data in country. Mm -hmm. However, the enterprises at the same time still need to reach out to all of the cloud service providers that I just mentioned. Yeah. And so a package where the enterprise could compute locally for what mm -hmm. they need locally mm -hmm. and then reach out uh, with uh, through the telco network with an SLA to the third party providers mm -hmm. would probably be something very welcome. Okay. Couple of uh, Huawei customer, I mean the carriers, they are using the same strategies, okay, to have a local cow and then to follow, you know, the local government regulation to tell large enterprise and government the data should be kept inside the country. Mm -hmm. Okay, my last question is, uh, uh, can you share some the business scenario that uh, enterprise, they need, they need cloud and network, okay, particularly for the network bandwidth on demand, for the auto scaling in the cloud resources. Do you have some, some, something to tell us? Sure, there are many examples, but one that comes to mind that I think everyone can relate to mm -hmm. is uh, most of us, I think, watch the Wimbledon tennis tournament, mm -hmm. uh, which happens yearly. And I think a lot of people don't realize that for 50 weeks out of the year, mm -hmm. uh, there's about 200 members of Wimbledon. It's a very small tennis club. Okay. They don't have a lot of users hitting their website. Mm -hmm. Then for two weeks of the year, they have 20,000 hits a day to, to, their, to their infrastructure. Okay. Now, obviously, Wimbledon cannot Handle, uh, can handle all that themselves, okay. and they use the cloud, they're using a cloud service provider okay. to handle the bursting and the overflow. Okay. Uh, the issue that I think they face as well is that their current environment is very much aimed at an over-the-top scenario hmm. for this hybrid cloud hmm. and could benefit, I think, significantly from a, a, a telco environment that can provide the SLAs underneath okay. that integrates with the over-the-top play. So I think that's a good example of so where the opportunity okay. is. That is uh, the SDN network and the data center network, they should be you know, combined to offer such a great service to the e enterprise. Right? Exactly. Okay, thank you, Chris. Okay, Pleasure nice to you. you. Okay.